2024 Summer Olympics may be done, but there is still more competition coming in Paris. The Paralympics begin in less than two weeks. For one Quinnipiac grad, these games are an opportunity to prove that a positive attitude and great work ethic can take you places you never even thought were possible. It's been a goal, but also it's been a trust the process moment where I knew if I put the work in, I would get here. The process has been long and challenging for Victoria Isaacson. I was born with a genetic condition called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. EDS comes with neurologic symptoms that led to declines in mobility and leg strength, along with heart issues. Going on through all of this, I found a passion in fencing. And then when I started having the issues with my leg, I kind of felt very defeated. I was in the hospital. I came out of the hospital. I couldn't walk. I couldn't coordinate. Even with Victoria's physical limitations, she didn't have to give up the sport she loves. I think people should be able to follow their passions. They should be able to, to pursue the things that they love. So like you go back, grab that parry. Isaacson's coach suggested trying wheelchair fencing. Switching over to wheelchair was like learning a whole new sport from scratch. Victoria is a fast learner. And now this journey to the Paralympics has taken on a larger purpose. We have been trying to build wheelchair fencing across the United States, and we're a very small sport in the U.S. with maybe 20 people currently, and it's growing. Isaacson has put in the hours getting ready for Paris, while also balancing time as a fencing coach and completing a degree at Quinnipiac University to become a doctor of occupational therapy. I believe that wheelchair fencing is like caterable to so many different disabilities, but also as an occupational therapist, having pursuits and sports is so important for quality of life. More than gold, Victoria's mission is to help others and inspire. Making sure there aren't more people with my story is so, so important to me. And I'm really proud of myself for being able to do both the Paralympic path and become a doctor and work in this field. If Tori could medal, I mean, like, my heart would just melt. Be, I, I'd probably be in tears. <laughs> Ultimately, I don't care how I place. I'm just going to put my best foot forward and enjoy the experience, knowing it's going to set me up better in the future. Victoria is such an inspiration. The wheelchair fencing competition at the Paralympics runs from September 3rd through the 7th.